Remember? The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. As we bid farewell to 2023, let's ponder a vital question. How can I evolve today to become an even better version of myself tomorrow? Life, in its essence, is a voyage into the unknown. Each sunrise presents us with a unique opportunity to steer our destiny. The ancient Stoics, renowned for their profound wisdom, understood this deeply. They weren't merely philosophers with their heads in the clouds. They were pragmatic, with a keen understanding of life's intricate dance. Imagine a serene evening at the dawn of 2024. You're nestled in your favorite spot, reflecting on the year gone by and the unwritten chapters ahead. This isn't about crafting ephemeral New Year's resolutions that fade with time. It's about forging transformative habits that will sculpt your future. In this video, we'll explore 11 Stoic habits, carefully curated, to guide your journey from 2023 into 2024. These aren't mere contemplations. They are actionable steps towards a life of purpose and fulfillment. Join me, your guide at Stoic in Your Life, as we embark on this transformative journey together. One, embrace voluntary discomfort. In the realm of Stoicism, a philosophy that has withstood the test of time, there lies a powerful practice, voluntary discomfort. This ancient wisdom, embraced by Stoics, teaches us to appreciate what we have and to build resilience in the face of life's inevitable challenges. The concept is simple yet profound. By deliberately choosing to experience discomfort, we train ourselves to be less dependent on external comforts and more reliant on our inner strength. Imagine for a moment choosing to skip a meal, take cold showers, or even sleep on the floor occasionally. These acts, seemingly small, carry immense power. They serve as reminders that we are capable of enduring hardships and that our happiness is not solely tied to physical comfort. This practice is not about punishment or austerity for its own sake. Rather, it's a tool to sharpen our appreciation for the comforts we do have and to fortify our mental resilience. Epictetus, a sage in the Stoic tradition, encapsulated this idea beautifully. He who needs the least is most like the gods who need nothing. This profound statement echoes through the ages, reminding us that true contentment comes from within, not from the endless pursuit of external pleasures. By needing less, we align ourselves closer to a state of self-sufficiency and inner peace. As we embark on the journey of 2024, let us embrace this practice of voluntary discomfort. It's an invitation to step out of our comfort zones, to challenge ourselves, and to discover the strength that lies in simplicity. This practice is not just about enduring hardship. It's about transforming our relationship with comfort and discomfort. It teaches us to find joy and gratitude in the simple things, to appreciate the abundance of what we already have, and to realize that our greatest source of strength and happiness lies within us. Incorporating this stoic habit into our modern lives can be a transformative experience. It's a call to reassess our priorities, to find balance in a world that often glorifies excess and to cultivate a mindset that sees challenges as opportunities for growth. By practicing voluntary discomfort, we not only honor the wisdom of the Stoics, but also equip ourselves with a timeless tool for personal development and inner peace. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, let this practice be a guiding light, a reminder that sometimes, by embracing less, we gain so much more. Let it inspire us to build resilience, to foster gratitude, and to find happiness in the simplicity of being. In doing so, we not only reinvent ourselves, but also create a life that resonates with the enduring wisdom of Stoicism. 2. Practice Objective Judgment This concept, deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, encourages us to view life through a lens of clarity and truth stripping away the veils of personal bias and emotional distortion. Imagine you're standing before a complex situation, your mind clouded with preconceived notions and emotional responses. Now, envision yourself stepping back, 
peeling away layers of subjectivity and seeing the situation for what it truly is. This is the essence of practicing objective judgment. It's about confronting life's events not as we fear or hope them to be, but as they genuinely are. The Stoics, particularly Seneca, emphasize the importance of this practice. He famously said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. These words resonate with timeless wisdom, reminding us that our distress often stems not from the events themselves, but from our interpretation of them. How many times have we lost ourselves in the labyrinth of our fears only to realize that the reality was far less daunting? As we step into 2024, let's embrace this stoic habit with open arms. Let's commit to reducing the self-inflicted turmoil that arises from misperception. This means pausing before reacting, examining our thoughts, and asking ourselves, is this situation as bad as I perceive it to be? Or is it my interpretation that's causing distress? Next, let's recall the words of Stoic philosopher Epictetus, who said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This powerful statement encapsulates the essence of objective judgment. It's a reminder that our power lies not in altering the events of life, but in changing our perceptions of them. But how do we cultivate this habit? It begins with self-awareness. Start by observing your thoughts and reactions to everyday situations. When you find yourself upset or distressed, pause and reflect. Ask yourself, Am I seeing this situation as it is? Or am I viewing it through the lens of my biases and emotions? By consistently practicing this self-reflection, you'll gradually develop the ability to see things more objectively. Moreover, Objective judgment isn't just about avoiding distress. It's also about experiencing life more fully. When we remove our subjective filters, we open ourselves to a more authentic experience of the world. We see the beauty in simplicity, the lessons in challenges, and the growth in adversity. In conclusion, as we journey through 2024, let's make objective judgment a cornerstone of our personal growth. Let's strive to see the world not as we fear or wish it to be, but as it truly is. In doing so, we'll not only alleviate unnecessary suffering, but also discover a deeper appreciation for the intricate tapestry of life. Remember, in the words of Marcus Aurelius, everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. Let this be our guiding light as we reinvent ourselves this year with the wisdom of Stoicism. Three. Set up a routine. In the quest to reinvent oneself in 2024, adopting Stoic habits is a transformative journey. One of the most pivotal steps in this journey is establishing a daily routine. Imagine your day as an unwritten story, a blank canvas awaiting your creative touch. The beauty of a routine lies not in its rigidity, but in its ability to channel your energies effectively. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher revered for centuries, believed that a life without a plan is akin to a ship adrift at sea. He advocated for well-structured days, seeing them as the cornerstone of a life well-lived. Crafting your routine is a personal endeavor. It's not about mirroring someone else's schedule, but about discovering what resonates with you. Start by identifying when you feel most energized and productive. Are you an early bird, reveling in the tranquility of dawn? Or do you find your stride as the day unfolds? Tailor your routine to these rhythms. Allocate your peak hours to tasks that demand your utmost focus and creativity. For instance, I harness the calm of the morning to engage in reflective walks and immerse myself in creative projects before the world stirs. However, remember that a routine encompasses more than just work. It's about cultivating a harmonious balance between your professional and personal life. Incorporate activities that nourish your mind, body, and spirit. This could be reading, exercising, or cherishing moments with loved ones. Consistency in these practices is key, as it's the glue that binds your routine. Seneca's teachings remind us of the significance of principles in our lives. A daily routine, in essence, is a set of self-imposed principles that guide our actions. Embrace this structure and watch as it transforms the chaos of uncertainty into a serene, productive rhythm.
To further illustrate the power of a well-crafted routine, let's consider the story of a renowned artist. This artist, much like many of us, struggled with managing time and focusing on their art. They decided to set a specific time each day dedicated solely to their craft. This simple act of scheduling transformed their productivity and creativity. The artist found that by consistently dedicating morning hours to painting, they not only improved their skills but also developed a deeper connection with their work. This story mirrors the essence of a stoic routine. It's about finding what works for you and sticking to it, thereby turning potential into excellence. In conclusion, to reinvent yourself, start by sculpting your day with intention. Establish a routine that aligns with your natural rhythm and encompasses all facets of your life. Let this routine be your guide, your framework for growth and self-improvement. Remember in the words of Seneca, life without a plan is random. So, plan your days, embrace the structure, and watch as your life transforms into a harmonious symphony of productivity and fulfillment. Four, get together with people who make you better. The company we keep molds us more than we often realize, akin to wandering through a forest with multiple paths leading to our destination. This concept isn't novel. The Stoics understood the immense influence of our social circles. Seneca, through his writings, emphasized the significance of being in the company of those who foster our growth and learning. He once advised, be around people who will make you a better man. This isn't just about choosing friends, it's about selecting the influences that shape your life and character. In today's world, how do we apply this wisdom? Start by scrutinizing your social circle. Consider who you spend most of your time with. Do these individuals embody qualities you admire and aspire to? The goal isn't to seek perfection in others, but to find those who challenge you, aid your growth, and resonate with your values. Think of it as planting yourself in fertile soil. Associating with uninspired individuals can lead to a similar lack of motivation in yourself. It's not only about avoiding negative influences, but also actively seeking positive ones. Create your own stoic circle, be it a book club, a discussion group, or a circle of friends committed to self-improvement. Engage in activities that enrich your mind and soul. Share and debate your ideas. Challenge each other on substantial topics and grow together. Seneca believed that teaching is a form of learning. By surrounding yourself with people who encourage you to excel, you'll not only rise to meet challenges but also surpass them. Let 2024 be the year you cultivate your garden of influences, ensuring each person in it contributes to your journey of growth. Remember, as another Stoic philosopher, Epictetus said, the key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. By doing so, you're not just building friendships. You're constructing a fortress of personal development and wisdom that will stand the test of time. Five. Embrace the winds of change. Just as a sailor learns to harness the wind no matter its direction, embracing change is akin to setting your sails to catch the ever-shifting breezes. The great Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius, during his contemplative moments, reflected deeply on the nature of change. He understood that life's rhythm is an unending dance of transformation. When we resist change, we close ourselves off to the myriad of opportunities and possibilities it brings. To truly embrace change, one must do more than merely accept it. It's about preparing yourself to welcome and integrate it into your life. Shift your perspective. Don't view change as a looming threat, but rather as an inevitable, exhilarating reality. The year 2024 presents itself as a canvas for learning, growth, and the unfolding of new experiences. Challenge yourself to step beyond the familiar confines of your comfort zone. Consider exploring a new hobby, a career shift, or even adopting a fresh mindset. It's in those moments of uncertainty and novelty that we often experience our most significant growth and deepest joy. Additionally, cultivate flexibility. Be like the resilient tree that bends in the wind but doesn't break. As life's circumstances shift, learn to adapt with agility. Being adaptable isn't a sign of passivity. It's about actively seeking ways to thrive in new environments as you navigate the various changes life presents. Recall the words of Marcus Aurelius. The universe is change. 
Our life is what our thoughts make it. Let 2024 be the year you master the art of navigating change with grace and proficiency. View each new challenge as an opportunity to discover more about yourself and to expand your horizons. As the ancient Stoic saying goes, he who fears death will never do anything worth of a man who is alive. Let this be your guiding principle as you reinvent yourself this year, embracing change not just as a part of life but as a pathway to self-discovery and growth. In our modern world, where change is the only constant, this approach is not just beneficial but essential. The ability to adapt and grow with change is a skill that will serve you well in all aspects of life, from personal relationships to professional endeavors. As you embark on this journey of transformation, remember that change is not just something to be endured, but an opportunity to be seized. It's a chance to learn to grow and to become the best version of yourself. So. As you face the winds of change this year, do so with an open heart and an eager mind, ready to embrace whatever comes your way with confidence and courage. 6. Start out small. Reflect on the wisdom of George Washington, a man whose steadfast determination was instrumental in shaping a nation. He was guided by a simple yet profound Scottish proverb, Many a little makes a muckle. This phrase encapsulates a fundamental truth, echoed by Zeno, the founder of Stoicism, who believed that true happiness is achieved through small, incremental steps. It's a reminder that monumental changes are often the sum of modest, consistent efforts. Picture yourself planting seeds. Each seed, though tiny, holds the potential to blossom into something magnificent. Apply this analogy to your personal goals. For instance, if you aspire to read more, don't overwhelm yourself with lofty targets. Start with a page a day akin to placing individual tiles in a mosaic, each contributing to a grander design. Remember, every journey begins with a single step, and every habit forms from a singular action. This concept is beautifully articulated in James Clear's Atomic Habits. The essence of atomic habits lies not only in their potential to create significant impact, but also in their fundamental nature. Atoms, the smallest units, possess immense power. Similarly, our smallest habits lay the groundwork for substantial transformations. Here's a little secret. It's not just about doing small things, it's about thinking small too. Avoid the trap of grandiose promises that are hard to keep. Focus on the achievable, the tasks right in front of you. By accumulating these small victories, you'll witness their collective power in bringing about significant change. Consider the metaphor of a river. It begins as a mere stream. This imagery reinforces the potency of starting small. As we step into 2024, let's not underestimate the impact of even the smallest actions. In the words of Zeno, an act of kindness no matter how small, is never wasted. Seneca, who once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This aligns perfectly with our theme of focusing on small, present actions to build a brighter future. In conclusion, as we navigate the path of self-reinvention in 2024, let's cherish the power of small beginnings. Let each small step be a building block in the mosaic of our lives each action a seed of potential, and each moment an opportunity to practice kindness and mindfulness. Remember, in the realm of personal growth and self-improvement, the mightiest of changes often sprout from the humblest of beginnings. 7. Reflect Daily Reflecting daily, a practice deeply rooted in the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, stands as a cornerstone of Stoic habits. Marcus Aurelius, a revered Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, diligently recorded his reflections in what is now known as meditations. This timeless work not only offers a glimpse into his profound wisdom, but also serves as a guiding light for those seeking to cultivate a stoic way of life. The essence of this habit lies in dedicating time each day to introspectively examine one's actions, thoughts, and experiences. It's an opportunity to assess the day's events, acknowledging both the triumphs and the areas needing improvement. This process is not merely about self-critique, but about aligning one's actions more closely with the core principles of Stoicism. It involves asking oneself questions like, 
have I lived today in harmony with nature? Or, how can I handle similar situations better in the future? In the context of 2024, as we navigate through an ever-evolving world, the practice of daily reflection becomes even more significant. It allows us to pause in our hectic lives, providing a moment of tranquility where we can connect with our inner selves. This habit fosters a heightened sense of self-awareness, enabling us to become more mindful and intentional in our actions. It's about learning from the past, being present in the now and preparing for the future. Next, let's consider the story of Zeno of Sidium, the founder of Stoicism. After suffering a shipwreck, Zeno found himself in Athens where he discovered the philosophy of Socrates. This event, which could have been perceived as a disaster, led him to a path of profound philosophical enlightenment. Zeno's story teaches us that reflection can transform challenges into opportunities for growth and learning. Incorporating this habit into our daily routine can be as simple as setting aside a few quiet moments each evening. During this time, we can ponder the day's events, our reactions to them, and how they align with our Stoic values. This practice not only cultivates a deeper understanding of oneself, but also enhances our ability to navigate life's complexities with grace and resilience. As we embrace 2024, let's make a commitment to ourselves to practice daily reflection. This habit is not just about introspection, it's a journey toward self-improvement and wisdom. By reflecting on our experiences, we can learn invaluable lessons, develop a stronger character, and lead a life that is more in harmony with our Stoic principles. Remember, as Marcus Aurelius himself said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, let us nurture our minds with thoughtful reflection and stride forward into a year of transformation and self-renewal. 8. Stop letting your anxiety take over your life. In the tempestuous journey of life, we often find ourselves in the midst of a storm, not one that brews in the skies, but one that rages within us. Anxiety. It's like a persistent shadow trailing our every step, fed by whispered conversations about potential mishaps and looming uncertainties. Yet, the stark reality is that we are not marionettes in the hands of fate. Anxiety should not be the puppeteer of our lives. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic emperor who helmed an entire empire, understood this profoundly. In his meditations, he sought refuge from stress, not by casting it out but by acknowledging its presence within. This realization is powerful. The turbulence we often fear is not external like a storm disrupting a flight but internal within us. How do we break free from these invisible shackles? The first step is taking ownership of our emotions. Recognize that it is our thoughts, not the external world, that brew the fog of anxiety. This fog distorts reality, magnifying trivial issues into insurmountable obstacles. Clearing this mist allows us to see things as they truly are, stripped of the distortions wrought by fear. Mindfulness is a vital tool in this endeavor. Pause for a moment, take a deep breath, and ask yourself, Is my worry rooted in the present reality? Or is it a shadow cast by my fears of what might happen? More often than not, it's the latter. Let's debunk a common myth. Anxiety is not a protective shield against potential problems. In reality, it's a paralyzing force. It's akin to sitting in a rocking chair. There's movement, but no progress. As we step into the new year, let's make a pact to liberate ourselves from the chains of anxiety. Let's navigate life with a tranquil heart and a lucid mind. Aurelius reminds us that we govern our minds, not the external events. Grasping this truth empowers us. Remember, the only storm you need to weather is the one raging inside you. In the words of Seneca, another revered Stoic philosopher, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This quote reinforces our belief in the power of perception over circumstance. By aligning our mindset with Stoic principles, we can transform our internal landscape, making it a haven of peace rather than a battleground of anxiety. In conclusion, embracing these Stoic habits is not just about combating anxiety. It's about reinventing ourselves. It's about viewing life through a lens of clarity and calmness, where challenges are not magnified by fear, 
but diminished by wisdom. As we embark on this journey of self-reinvention in 2024, let's carry with us the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, applying it to the complexities of modern life and finding solace in its profound teachings. 9. The Cultivate Self Reliance In the Stoic journey, the cultivation of self-reliance emerges as a cornerstone, teaching us the profound lesson that our happiness and peace of mind are solely in our hands not tethered to the unpredictable waves of external circumstances or the actions of others. This principle of Stoicism, deeply rooted in the wisdom of ancient philosophers, resonates more than ever in our modern world, where external influences incessantly vie for our attention and emotional response. The essence of self-reliance in Stoicism is beautifully encapsulated in the words of Epictetus, No man is free who is not master of himself. This powerful statement serves as a beacon, guiding us towards the realization that true freedom and contentment lie within our control of our inner state and actions, not in the external world. It's a call to embrace personal responsibility, to recognize that the key to our serenity and resilience lies in how we respond to life's challenges, not in the challenges themselves. As we step into 2024, the pursuit of self-reliance becomes even more crucial. In a world that's constantly changing and presenting new challenges, the ability to rely on oneself, to remain steadfast and unshaken by external events, is invaluable. This year, let's endeavor to strengthen our self-reliance. It's about nurturing a mindset that sees obstacles not as insurmountable barriers, but as opportunities for growth and learning. It's about developing a deep sense of trust in our abilities to navigate through life's ebbs and flows with a serene mind and a resilient spirit. To foster this self-reliance, we can start by reflecting on our daily decisions and actions. Are they influenced by external pressures, or are they a true reflection of our values and beliefs? Practicing mindfulness and self-reflection can help us become more aware of our internal processes and how they are influenced by external factors. This awareness is the first step towards gaining control over our reactions and decisions. Moreover, in the spirit of Stoicism, we should strive to detach ourselves from the outcome of our actions. This doesn't mean becoming indifferent or passive. Rather, it's about focusing on what we can control, our efforts and attitudes, and accepting that the outcome, whether favorable or not, is often beyond our control. This approach not only fosters inner peace but also empowers us to act with more clarity and purpose, free from the fear of failure or the need for external validation. Incorporating daily practices such as journaling, meditation, or even simple mindfulness exercises can significantly aid in developing self-reliance. These practices allow us to connect with our inner selves, understand our thought patterns, and cultivate a mindset that is aligned with Stoic principles. They serve as tools to reinforce our mental fortitude, enabling us to face life's challenges with confidence and equanimity. In conclusion, as we navigate through 2024, let us embrace the stoic habit of cultivating self-reliance. By doing so, we not only honor the timeless wisdom of stoic philosophers, but also equip ourselves with a powerful tool to reinvent ourselves in the modern world. Remember as Marcus Aurelius, another great stoic philosopher, wisely said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Let this be our guiding principle as we forge our path towards a more resilient and fulfilling life. 10. Practice Gratitude Practicing gratitude, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, is a transformative habit that can significantly reinvent oneself in 2024. This practice is not just about acknowledging the good in our lives, but it's a profound shift in perspective, from a mindset of scarcity to one of abundance. It's about recognizing and appreciating what we have, rather than fixating on what we lack or yearn for. This shift is crucial because it moves us away from a constant state of wanting and towards a state of contentment and joy. The Stoic philosopher Seneca beautifully encapsulated this idea when he said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This quote is a powerful reminder of the essence of gratitude. 
it's not merely being thankful for the big achievements or material possessions. It's also about finding joy in the small, everyday moments. It's about appreciating the warmth of the sun on your skin, the smile of a loved one, or the comfort of a home. These moments, often overlooked, are the true treasures that enrich our lives. In the context of 2024, a year that promises both challenges and opportunities, adopting a habit of gratitude can be a game changer. It's about starting each day with a sense of thankfulness. You could keep a gratitude journal where you jot down three things you're grateful for every day. This simple act can have a profound impact on your mindset. It trains your brain to look for the positive creating a ripple effect of positivity in your life. Moreover, gratitude can be a powerful tool in facing life's challenges. Consider the story of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, born into slavery yet found freedom and contentment through his philosophy. He taught that external events are beyond our control, but we can control our reactions to them. By focusing on what we have, rather than what we've lost or can't have, we find strength, and resilience. This lesson is particularly relevant in our fast-paced, often unpredictable world. When facing a difficult situation in your life, instead of dwelling on the negatives, try to find something to be grateful for. Maybe it's a lesson learned, a strength discovered, or simply the support of friends and family. This doesn't mean ignoring the challenges or pretending they don't exist. It means acknowledging them, but choosing to focus on the positives however small they may be. In conclusion, as we navigate through 2024, let's embrace the practice of gratitude. Let it be a daily ritual, a lens through which we view the world. By doing so, we cultivate a sense of contentment and well-being, finding joy in the present moment. Remember, it's not about having everything but appreciating what we have. As we embark on this journey, let's hold on to Seneca's words and find true happiness in enjoying the present, free from the anxious dependence upon the future. This is the path to a fulfilled and contented life, a lesson that can profoundly improve our lives. 11. Get back to the beat. In our 11th and final segment, we delve into the essence of resilience and self-compassion, a theme deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy. Marcus Aurelius the Roman emperor and a Stoic himself, profoundly understood the human condition. He once reflected on the significance of not just rising after a fall, but also recognizing the inherent beauty in our ability to do so. This perspective is crucial for us as we navigate the challenges of life. Embracing our imperfections and errors is in fact an embrace of our humanity. Life, as we know, is replete with hurdles and setbacks, it's essential to realize that stumbling is not a detour in our journey. It's an integral part of it. When we falter in our commitments, be it adhering to a diet, maintaining a workout regimen, or sticking to resolutions, it's vital to view these not as failures but as pivotal moments in our growth. The crux of this habit lies in how we respond to these setbacks. Do we berate ourselves or do we acknowledge our slip, learn from it, and gently steer ourselves back on course? The latter. A path of self-compassion and resilience is what we should aspire to. It's about cultivating a habit of kindness towards oneself, reinforcing the strength within us each time we realign with our goals. This resilience, this ability to return to our rhythm, no matter how often we lose it, is a testament to our inner fortitude. Perfection is not the goal. Progress. It's about consistently returning to what matters Understanding that the true measure of our character is not in the events that befall us, but in how we respond to them. As Epictetus, another great Stoic philosopher, reminds us, it's not just about contemplating these Stoic practices, but integrating them into our daily lives, letting them shape our actions and decisions. As we step into 2024, let's carry this essence of Stoic wisdom with us, let it not just be a theoretical understanding, but a practical application in our daily lives. Each time we falter, let's remember Marcus Aurelius's insight and Epictetus's guidance. Let's make it a habit to rise, to learn, and to grow, embracing our humanity with kindness and resilience. This is not just a habit, but a way of life, 
a path that leads to inner strength and serenity, guiding us through the ebbs and flows of life with a stoic grace. As we draw this video to a close, I want to extend a heartfelt invitation to each of you to actively engage with the stoic principles we've explored today. Remember, the path to self-improvement and inner peace is not just about understanding stoicism, but about living it in our everyday lives. Each day offers a new opportunity to paint your life's canvas with actions that reflect resilience, discipline, and kindness. I encourage you to start today. Pick one of the 11 stoic habits we discussed and integrate it into your daily routine. Observe the transformation it brings to your life and share your experiences with us. Your stories and comments are not just words. They are the lifeblood of our community inspiring and encouraging each one of us to grow and thrive. At Stoic In Your Life, we are committed to this journey of continuous growth and self-discovery. If this video has resonated with you, please support our mission by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Your engagement is crucial in building a community where we can all learn, share, and grow together. So don't forget to leave your thoughts and insights in the comments below. Let's create a vibrant space for dialogue and learning where each of us can contribute to and benefit from the collective wisdom of our community. Together, let's keep walking this path of stoic transformation. Subscribe, like, share, and turn on notifications to stay connected with our latest content. Join us in this journey of self-improvement with stoicism as our guiding light. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Until our next video, embrace the stoic way of life and make every day count towards a more fulfilling and meaningful existence. Keep living the stoic life.